Today we'll learn how to create a variety of insanely cool strobe effects. Welcome to the Resolve Store. Strobe effect is hugely used in music videos, but you can also use it in trailers or in your vlogs. You can use strobe effect individually over a video, or we can use it as a transition too. Let's learn how to use it as a transition. We've imported two clips on our timeline. First go to Effects and then drag and drop the adjustment layer above both of the clips. Make sure to place it in the center of both clips. Now click on Open Effects and then search Invert Colors and then drag and drop it over the adjustment layer. The colors look insane. The next step is to cut the adjustment layer just after every two frames. You can use a shortcut, Control B to cut, and right arrow two times to change the frames. Control B, two frames, Control B, two frames, Control B, two frames. You can do it as many times to get the desired duration of the transition. We'll delete the rest of the adjustment layer. Deactivate Auto Track Selector. Select and delete the alternative frame. Let's see what we've created. Whoa, looks insane. We can also make this effect a little bit more interesting by adding zoom effect to some of the frames. Make sure to select the clip and then go to video tab and then zoom the frame a little bit. We can also try flipping the clip and add some zoom. Now let's play it. Looks awesome. So let's create another type of strobe effect. It's the basic one. Click on Generators, search for Solid Color, and then just drag and drop it above the Video 1 layer between the cut. Under the Video tab, we can choose the color of the strobe we want. I'll just go ahead and keep it black. Let's start trimming the solid color layer. Again, keep moving the frame forward using the right arrow key and then press Ctrl B as many times as you want the effect to last. Okay, now click on Auto Track Selector again. Delete the remaining adjustment layer. Now again, select all the alternative frames and then delete them. Place the alternative frames in the center. Now let's see how it looks. Superb. Next, we'll create RGB strobe effect. First, go to Effects, drag and drop the adjustment layer over the Video 1 layer in between the cut. Next, go to Open Effects, search for Invert Color, and then drag and drop it over the adjustment layer. Again, follow the same process. Click on Auto Track Selector. Press right arrow key two times and then press Control B. Deactivate Auto Track Selector. Delete the alternative frames. Now select a frame, go to Effects tab, uncheck all the colors, and just choose one. I want this one to be red. Second one to be green. 
third one to be blue. And you can also use a combination of colors. I'm choosing red and blue for the fourth one. And for the fifth one, I'm choosing green and blue. Let's see what we created. It looks great. The last type of strobe is the footage strobe. It's the simplest of all the effects that we've created. Activate Auto Track Selector. For this effect, we'll create cuts on the second clip. Follow the same process. Right arrow key two times and then press Control B to create the cut. Now drag all the frames over the first video clip. Make sure to drag the clip to fill the space. Deactivate Auto Track Selector. And then delete the alternative frames. Let's play and see what we've created. That's all guys, buckle up for the new tutorials coming soon and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a master at DaVinci Resolve. See you soon.